and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing really well today. I'm going to be sharing my Chanel handbag collection video with you. I have accumulated a few over the years, so I thought I would share those with you. They're not going to be reviews, but if you would like me to review any of them in further detail, let me know in the comments below and I can totally do that for you. So I'm going to be talking about them from the first bag that I ever purchased to my most recent. If you have watched my luxury items I want to stop buying video, you will know that I mentioned that I want to stop buying a certain color of bags. Well, after watching this video, you will understand why I really need to stop that. So let's get started. The first ever Chanel handbag I purchased was this Chanel boy bag. So this is in the old medium size and it is my first ever Chanel handbag and I went all out and purchased a boy bag. I had been lusting after this boy bag for so long and when I added it to my collection I was so thrilled. I was so happy. It was actually my first darker coloured crossbody bag so I was so happy so thrilled such a beautiful bag I did a comparison of this versus the classic flat I will link that below so you can check that out if you want a review on this bag so this bag has the antique gold hardware which is quite common at Chanel and it is in the color pearly black so it is meant to be black but it's actually a dark dark blue and when you look at it close up you can really see that like in the light when I move it around you can see that it's a dark blue so it's a color that I don't have in my collection because it's not black and it's not like a blue it's like in between and some lights it'll be black and some it'll be blue so I love that about this bag and it's a great size too so my first ever and it's probably my most treasured Chanel handbag so I do love this and I will probably never ever sell this bag it's got such a special meaning to me and it's my most treasured Chanel bag the second Chanel handbag I purchased was the Chanel PST so the petite shopping tote. So the Chanel GST was a really famous bag that was really popular but it's now been discontinued and I haven't seen it in a long time. So this was the baby sister version to that and it is in the caviar leather with the quilting. The straps is a shorter strap. It's a really weird length. It fits under your shoulder but it sits in a weird position so when you've got your arm there you're really squashing the bag and it does have a leather on the shoulder though which makes it a bit easier to use. Now this bag I used a lot when I first got it. In the last few years I don't really reach to it and I think it's because of the shoulder straps. It is a really weird length that doesn't work for me because it's not long enough for it to sit comfortably under my shoulder. It just doesn't work for me. And also the shape has also kind of gotten weird. It like kind of goes up on the sides if you can see. And it's dented a bit. But it has been well used. At the moment I don't really reach for it. But it's quite a classic bag so I feel like later on maybe I would reach for it. But at the moment I don't. Potentially could be a bag that I would sell. But at the moment I haven't really decided. So the next Chanel handbag I purchased was this bag. Now I could not find the name of this bag and I couldn't find my receipt. So I don't know the exact name of this bag but it was a seasonal bag from years ago and I've seen some sort of variations. So this is in a beautiful blue colour so this is very blue compared to the boy bag. It is an actual blue and this bag has silver hardware. This very much is like the classic flap. The only difference to this bag, it's got this extra pocket at the front, which I really like. So the interior is just a big flap, and honestly, to me, it is like a classic flap with a little twist, and that's what I like because it's not a bag you see out often. It's got this nice piping around it too, so it's something if you use, it's going to stand out more than a normal flap because it looks different. So the strap is a crossbody strap, and again, it can be shortened to a double strap. And at the back it's got a pocket too. This is probably one of my favorite Chanel bags if not my most favorite Chanel bag. I just I really like this bag because it's got all those classic elements of a Chanel handbag but it's slightly different with the pocket and I love the classic quilting. I love the piping on it so I'm gonna have to say this is my favorite Chanel bag. Like I love my boy bag for special meanings but in terms of a favorite handbag I'm gonna have to say this is my most favorite handbag. If you know the name of this handbag, could you please let me know in the comments below? I would love to know what it's called. Now, the next Chanel handbag I purchased was none other than the Chanel Classic Bat. So this is in the medium size. It's in the caviar leather with the gold hardware. I love gold hardware, so I knew when I was buying a boy bag and a classic flap, it was always going to be gold hardware. I was never going to go for silver. Again, I did the comparison of the two bags, so I will link that below. So if you want a detailed review on the bag, you can check that out. Love this bag too. I do use it a little bit, 
moment, but I feel like I like to use the other bags that aren't as popular a little bit more than this. It is a beautiful bag though, and it's definitely a classic. I just feel like it still doesn't fit as much as I would like it to, but a beautiful bag. The next bag I bought is my least used Chanel handbag ever. It is this bag here. This, I believe, is called the Chanel Bowling Bag, and it is in two tones, so it is black on the side and brown on the back, and it's a really light brown. And it does have a shoulder strap, which is a nicer length compared to the PST that I showed you because it sits like a little bit more comfortable on my shoulder. Now, I think the reason I don't use this bag as much is because it's slightly big for me. I do like smaller bags at the moment. I tend to go for crossbody smaller bags. And also that this is on the back. This is just calling for color transfer. And I don't know why they did that. I wish it was the other way around because I do love the color of the brown. And this is about as adventurous as I've gone with my Chanel colored handbags and it was a bad move. I do use it where I'll have the black against my body and have this part showing, but the front of the bag is actually this because it does have the Chanel charm there. But that doesn't really bother me. I would use it like this a lot. It does have the feet on the bottom too, which is really nice. I think it would be a fantastic traveling bag and you could like really use it well, but you would have to be careful with it because of the color. So that's probably the reason why I don't use it is the color. When I look at this bag, I think I should really use it more, but when I get dressed and I'm about to go out, I just don't reach for it as much, but I don't think I would sell it because I really like it. So the next Chanel handbag that I have is not really a handbag, but most people class it as handbag. It's a Chanel wallet on chain. So again, it's caviar leather with the gold hardware. It's pretty much similar to my Chanel classic flap. It's all the same style, but it's obviously a smaller bag and perfect for nights out. It's got the flap at the back and I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually quite shiny now because I use it quite a bit because it's so fantastic for nights out. And inside is got the card slots and a zipper. So I actually do use this a lot and I really like it. When you go out, you don't really need to take much, just a couple of cards, a lipstick, that sort of thing. Probably should have gone more adventurous with the color of this wall because it is so small. I really feel like you don't need a black, but black does go with everything. And this one I purchased in Hong Kong in the Times Square boutique. So that's really nice too. It reminds me of my Hong Kong vacation. And the final handbag is this one here. So this is the Business Affinity bag. And I believe this is the smallest size in caviar leather again. It's in champagne gold hardware. And it's got the beautiful quilting on the top and then it's just smooth ca caviar on the rest of the bag. And the back is also quilted. This bag is quite popular right now. It's got a front pocket, which I love. I always leave it unzipped and I put my cell phone there because it's really easy to reach. And then it's just got one big pocket. My favorite thing about this is the top handle. I like to use it as a top handle a lot. I think it's the only top proper top handle Chanel handbag that I have. So I do like that. When I got this bag, I wasn't sure. Like I liked it, but I just felt like this was the one bag I should have gone adventurous with the color. And, and after I got this, I realized I have got too many black bags. Like I didn't need another Chanel bag in black. I should have gone adventurous with this. I know there's a beautiful pink color and I feel like that would have been beautiful in a different color. So I wasn't loving it at first because I think I kind of regretted my color choice. It actually turns out it's my most used Chanel handbag. At the beginning I would force myself to use it because I really just wanted to make use of it and it turns out that I actually found it really really convenient to use. Because of this extra flap my phone fit nicely, all the other things that I needed in there fit really nicely and it does come with a long strap too with the leather handle so it's comfortable on your shoulders. You can wear it crossbody. I like to use it as a top handle because I'm into top handle bags at the moment. It's a nice bag however I would have still have liked to purchase it in a different color instead of the black. So now you must understand what I mean when I say I really should not be buying any more black handbags. My whole Chanel collection is literally black handbags. I need to go out and buy some beautiful colored handbags and really switch up my collection. But all the bags I love, I feel like they all serve some sort of a different purpose in my collection. The only bag that I would consider selling is my Chanel PST. The rest of them I love and don't see myself selling. And Chanel handbags, majority of them are so classic and so timeless that literally you could pass it on to your great grandchildren because they'd still be fantastic. So that is my total Chanel handbag collection. Hopefully 
soon I can add something that's not black to my Chanel collection. If you watched my wishlist video, I did talk about how I want to get the reissue flap in a color that is not black. So thank you so much for watching my channel. Let me know what your favorite Chanel handbag from my collection was. And let me know if you have the same problem of buying black handbags like I do. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.